Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to Edinburgh today. It is currently 1 p.m. and my flight leaves at 7, so I still have a couple of hours. But I'm going to Edinburgh for the weekend to get up with my friend Natalie. She lives in Vienna and we met in 2016 in London during an exchange for university and ever since we've just been meeting up every year somewhere in Europe. So now we've chosen Edinburgh, we're going to be having a very lovely magical weekend and one of the best things is that tomorrow we're going to see Harry Styles in concert. <laughs> so I'm very excited for that. I've just packed everything, suitcases over there, and I thought I would take you along with me on this lovely weekend to Edinburgh. I've been once before in 2015, so it's been a long time. I can't really remember much. Luckily, Natalie's been quite a few times, so she can show me around the city a bit, and I'm very excited. I'm currently reading The Picture of Dorian Gray on my Kindle. I have downloaded another few books on my Kindle, so should I finish it, I will start a new one, but I will keep you updated on that. So let's go to Scotland. I got back from Edinburgh. I really hope you like that little um, video vlog thingy. I didn't really film much like talking wise, just a few clips here and there, but it's really fun to just have a look back at, you know, everything that I did. If I'm talking really like a little bit strange. I've got an ulcer on the inside of my mouth that hurts like hell, um, which is annoying. But first, let me just talk about the few books that I well, I actually read quite a bit before I went to Edinburgh and during, in Edinburgh as well because just before I left I already finished A Picture of Dorian Gray, my reread. Still absolutely amazing, my favourite classic. And look at this really cool edition. This one is from the early 80s, I believe. Second hand, obviously, but I'm trying to work on my Dorian Gray collection. So this is, I finished like just before I went to the airport and then at the airport 
I read like half of my year of rest and relaxation by Otessa Moschweg. This is basically about a girl, I believe she's like 24, something like that. Um, but she's basically very depressed and she decides to take a year off, kind of like her year of rest and relaxation. And it's kind of a depressing read, to be honest. It says, She's young, thin, pretty, a recent Columbia graduate, works an easy job at a hip art gallery, lives in an apartment on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, and like the rest of her needs, by her inheritance, like everything is paid, how could she not be happy? But there is a hole in her heart. And so yeah, she decides to kind of take a year off and take lots of drugs and sleep a lot and try to relax. This was a very, very interesting read. I managed to finish this one, by the way. I believe already in Edinburgh because my friend and I, we kind of sometimes took a few hours off to just read in the park or like chill at the hotel room. So I finished this one. I'm gonna give it four out of five stars because honestly, I couldn't stop reading. Really bizarre, interesting, intriguing, weird. Basically that. Shocking as well. Um, but very good. <laughs> I'm excited to read more of Tessa Moschweg's books because I'm quite into her writing style and her weird IDs. Um, loving this cover, by the way. And then I decided to start reading Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellors. This is a story about two people, a woman and a man with a, quite a big age difference. The woman is really young, just like early 20s, and a man is in his late 30s, early 40s, I believe they are getting into in a relationship. So it's basically about their relationship with this, you know, significant age difference. I believe I've read about 15% of this one so far. I put this one on my Kindle because this is quite a big book to take with me on holiday. But I read like 15% of this book whilst I was also in Edinburgh and just like going home. So interesting so far, quite enjoying it. Not a lot has happened yet. I have heard that plot wise, it can be quite slow but character-wise, it's much more interesting. So we'll see about that. I've only read, as I said, around 15%. Both of these books take place in New York, by the way. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm getting back into the reading mood. But let me quickly talk to you a bit about Edinburgh because I thought I filmed a lot more, um, but I didn't. We had such a lovely few days. So I arrived at like Thursday evening. Around 9 p.m. I arrived at the hotel and then we just went to sleep quite quickly because we were just both very tired from traveling. And then th the first day we just had a lovely breakfast. We then walked around town a bit, a little bit of shopping. And then the evening we went to Harry Styles, which was so much fun. It was one of the most kind of like bizarre concerts I've ever been to people wise because there were so many people. Even though I've been to concerts in like, um, an arena before but I don't know why this just felt like so much busier when your tickets got scanned after the ticket scanning it was still like outside and it felt like a whole festival with all of these drink carts and food trucks and like merch and everything it was so big and the concert itself was really really fun I did expect it to be a little bit longer and a little bit more interactive with the crowd to be honest but yeah, it was just so much fun. I danced so much. The only thing that was really sad is that my favorite song is Treat People With Kindness. And in particular, that little part in the middle of the song, which is just instrumental, um, where people always dance. And I was waiting for that part because it just, it would look so fun if everyone was doing the same little dance. And then he didn't do that part. It was just like a minute and a half <laughs> of just singing a few of the, like the chorus. And then it ended, which was a shame, but oh well. We danced so much, it was so much fun. And then the day after we went to Edinburgh Castle because I'd never been before, we had a lovely dinner at this wine bar with so many lovely bites and just good wine. And we sat in the park a lot. And on Sunday, we again just walked through town. We went to the Johnny Walker whiskey experience, which was so much fun. I'm not really a big whiskey drinker, but I, I'm starting to like it. <laughs> it was really just fun kind of learning more about whiskey and um, the whole experience itself, highly recommend if you're over 18, obviously, but it felt like a whole kind of walkthrough ride with lots of music and sounds and lights and the people that worked there were absolutely lovely and the whiskey was actually really, really tasty. You could do like a quiz to see what type of whiskey you would enjoy and then you were, you know, you could drink that type of whiskey. So that was really fun. I didn't really do any shopping, but I did buy a few postcards because I love buying postcards and I've honestly, 
just gonna take them out, but I have found the most beautiful postcards I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I can't get over the beauty of these postcards. Look at these. They are like books, gold foil, and then this one with so stop it, stop it. So I had to get these, these were absolutely amazing. Here's to another chapter around the sun. Have a wonderful birthday, wishing you a fairy tale of a birthday, wishing you a blooming beautiful birthday. Hope your day is full of sunshine and flowers. Excuse me, but I can't get over. I don't even wanna send them, but I will send them, but I can't wait to send these to my booby friends. Um, so that's the only thing I bought in Edinburgh. I did get lots of food, lots of wine. Um, that's basically it. That's where I spend all my money on. I didn't get any like Harry Styles merch because I'm always just like, I want to get it, but then I know I won't really wear it. But maybe, because I'm actually going again on the 5th of June in Amsterdam here, maybe I will get the tote bag because that one looked really big and sturdy and of like a good quality and would be like a perfect grocery bag. <laughs> so maybe I'll get that, um, but we'll see. I'm going on, that's Monday actually. The 5th of June. Very excited. Fingers crossed that he will do Tree People with Kindness in its entirety. In its entirety? I think. But right now I'm actually going to stop packing because I'm going to London for the weekend. A bit crazy uh, travel-wise, but very excited. Last time I went to London was February, so it's not been that long, but it's my favorite city in the world and I can't wait to go back. So I hope you like this little um, Edinburgh vlog and just hearing about my experiences. Such a fun city. The last time I've been was in 2015, so it felt really good to be back and I kind of forgot everything about it, which was fun. So of course I could, you know, it felt like being there for the first time. So I hope you like this vlog. If you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment a castle emoji because of Edinburgh Castle. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I really hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.